Hey guys, we hit our 50 subscriber goal, so as promised, here is the Stealth Commando build video. I just wanted to preface this real video real quick by saying thank you so much. Um, I'll make this fast. Right now, I'm going through a little bit of a hard time. My girlfriend and I broke up after eight years of being together, and she decided to take the dog, and she's not trying to work with me on uh, shared custody, so I'm probably going to have to try to take her to court and fight for custody of my dog. Um, so all the support seeing that we've got over one and a half thousand views on my vats video and just the subscribers numbers going up and all the likes it's just been it's made me feel so much better about like my self-worth and everything um so i really really appreciate it and I'm, you know i'll, I'll quit talk, blabbering on i know not, no, you're not here to listen to that so uh you're here for the build video this build was inspired by a build that already existed on youtube by a youtuber named tonic i will link the video in the description as far as the perk cards it's pretty much exactly the same i just added some legendary perk cards took more in some areas and less in other areas but if you don't have the legendary perks that i have being three in charisma two follow through two agility five ammo factory and three strength that's okay i'll let you know what to prioritize here uh, in strength, you want to prioritize the two bandolier, I mean, and if you can afford it, if you can put any extra points in strength legendary perk card, go with pack rat. It'll just help you carry more junk, especially when you're trying to pick up those heavy weights for farming lead. In perception, just max master commando, max tank killer, max commando, max expert killer, and concentrated fire maxed out. In Endurance, you're going to want 3 with Fireproof 1 and Rejuvenated 2 for the boosted AP. The AP regen, you get 45% AP regen when you're fully hydrated. In Charisma, I prioritize Party Boy because I rock Sweetwater Special Blend and it acts as an alcohol and a vegetable. So we get a ton of perception from it when we have herbivore and party boy equipped if you can afford it also strange numbers and two intenderizer if you can get three intenderizer even better um gunsmith to make sure that the weapons break slower because if you don't have at least three into gunsmith uh you're gonna be repairing constantly you're gonna need to carry multiple weapons on you or you're just gonna be constantly going to workbenches I put three in Action Boy, three in Covert Operative, one in Escape Artist, three into Kung Fu, and five into Adrenaline if you can afford it. If you can't afford the Adrenaline, then just go with three. Three in Bloody Mess, two into Grim Reaper Sprint, three into Better Criticals, two into Class Freak, and two into Starch Jeans, and three into Critical Savvy. I would really like to switch it to one into Grim Reaper Sprint and to two into Class Freak. I was using this before I learned like all the different ways that I could kind of reduce my AP cost. As for our mutations, we are going to be rocking Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Herbivore, Marsupial, and Speed Demon. Um, Herbivore is going to make our food so much stronger and so we're going to be rocking Corn Soup, Mute Fruit Juice, Sweetwater Special Blend, if you can afford it. If you can't, don't have Sweetwater Special Blend, then Carrot Soup. Use Carrot Soup because it'll give you four perception. And then Tato Juice. The Sweetwater Special Blend is giving us 12 perception. I think it gives us 15 if we have someone mutated on our team and we're rocking the Strange in Numbers. Uh, Corn Soup is giving us the 6 AP regen. Tato Juice is giving us plus 20 AP and two agility from mute fruit juice as far as what weapon we're rocking i like to rock the fixer it just for the increased sneak speed this is a stealth build and getting that increased sneak speed from this and having a little bit more movement speed from speed damage you can sneak fairly fairly quickly i chose vampire as my role on the one star because in my opinion it's just the best all around and it does people think that vampire doesn't increase your dps but it does increase your dps because if you're having to heal less often then 
you're doing more damage overall so it's it does increase the dps a little bit as you'll see from this little clip right here it's super useful in boss fights and and things where you're constantly taking lots of damage uh, daily ops expeditions it's just wonderful perk but you can do it with anything you can use furious anti-armor quad basically any one star legendary perk yeah the best two stars are going to probably be your explosive and your increased crit damage the three star in my opinion there's there's no question um if you're as far as pve goes and you, even pvp if you're not fighting people who are using stealth boys or stealth armor if you can vats them 25 percent less fat cost hands down best perk for three star effect the mods that i'm using on it are going to be powerful automatic receiver true long barrel true stock swift magazine reflex sight and suppressor suppressor is a must as far as the rest of it you can really do whatever you want but i just wanted to show you what i'm rocking tea time just popped i'm gonna have to go run that as far as what armor we're using it's the chinese stealth armor and how you get the Chinese stealth armor is just go through the uh, Wastelanders quest and do the Settlers side of the main of the Wastelanders quest up until you get the Chinese stealth armor. Like you don't have to worry about doing too much on the Raiders or the Settlers side in terms of quests and accidentally going past. It will prompt you in the in the quest line like, hey you're gonna make a decision here on what faction to choose and you can't go back so you don't have to worry about that just just do the if you want to be a raider but you're worried about doing it don't worry about it you're not going to do anything it's by the time you get the chinese stealth armor then you can just go immediately as soon as you get that just go over to the raiders and start doing theirs but there's, there's a quest that pops up when you're doing the main the settlers side of the wastelanders quest and that's how you're going to get this Chinese stealth armor. This build is meant to be very much a well-rounded, can-do-everything build. It's surprisingly tanky for a build that uses Chinese stealth armor and no resistance perk cards or anything. And it deals really solid damage for a non-bloody build, a full health build. And it's surprisingly easy to put together. It doesn't... It's, it's not that difficult. All the foods and everything that you need to run it are pretty easy to get. The hardest thing probably would be the fixer. And if you can't get that, I would just use a handmade. I'll also leave a link in the video description on how to get the fixer. It's just a public event that you need to do called encrypted. But somebody else either has to activate it or you have to do some quests to get to that point. The footage that you're seeing right now is... Uh, upcoming video that i have coming out hopefully in a couple weeks basically i got in a fight with three guys at a workshop and they ended up calling some hitmen on me i'm assuming from a reddit group or something but if you watch this far thank you so so much again i really really appreciate the support if you're new to the channel leave a like subscribe turn on bell notifications so that you get notified when i release new videos I've got a video coming out on Friday as well for what I think is the best way to run silos solo. If you play Fallout 76 on Xbox and you'd like to play with me, scroll up to the top of my channel page where my banner is and in the bottom right corner of the banner there should be a Discord button that you can click and it should send you an invite to join my Discord. And then you can talk to me on there, we can all chat. Um, we can share memes and you can let me know if you want to team up in the game and we can do daily ops or whatever you'd like huge shout out and thank you to tonic for making the original build like i said it's basically his build i just made some changes to it added some things in my video that weren't in his like the food and the mods that i use on my gun even if you don't like mine go give his a like link will be down in the description below that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.